Lewis, great to see you. How was your winter? I've had uh, an amazing winter. I went to Mexico and went yeah. to see the Lions and, and got to, to experience the difference. So I enjoyed it differently this year. I've been to Super Bowl, I've been all yeah. over the place. So. Anyone that looks at your social media just thinks it's fantastic. But how many different countries did you go to? I don't know, but I, it's <laughs> insane. I move a lot. You've got to have the confidence to be able to think, right, okay, I know where I am in my own training, I know where mm. I am in myself, to be able to go and do that. Is that something that, that you've been able to develop as you've you know, got older and understood yourself better? I think so, yeah. Of course, you do need to, to get the balance. You've got to be healthy. You've got to get at your training in. But there's no reason why you can't juggle them all. And I'm juggling all these balls. And, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, uh, I'll run out of steam at some stage. But, you know, so far it's going well. And, um, look, you know, I'm only going to be 31 once. And there'll be a time where I won't, I'm not here and some other young rascal is going to have my seat. <laughs> and... What's important is that I just try to maximize it, and this is how I maximize it. Everyone has their own way of maximizing their lives. This is how I'm doing it, and I'm enjoying it, and I'm happy. I was going to say, how do you relax, but is that how you relax? I mean, I see you playing no, the piano, and you know, that looks nice and chill. Yeah, no, I'm, music is, is the ultimate relaxation for me. When I'm working in the studio, when I'm writing, um, when I'm playing an instrument, yeah, that's the most relaxed environment for me, so. And are you self-taught? Do you, when you play the piano, do you read music? Did you teach yourself? Or you yeah, I mean, I, I don't have... To, it's not so easy when you move in, in country yeah. to country to country. It's not like I'm in at, at home for a full week where you can have a lesson every single day. So basically, I just do it on my own, yeah. And now, new thing, for example, this year, I'm making sure I have an, at least one in either a guitar or piano in my hotel room. So mm -hmm. when our day finishes like today, I'm going to be something I can go back and... Yeah. Instead of watching TV, I can do something I love. And uh, so for la last night, I was playing the piano and learned a song. So that's, that's great. gone from four songs to five songs, so I'm <laughs> excited. <laughs> what is that? Can you play anything that we know? For a long time, it was Adele, Someone Like yeah. You. And my, oh, friends, my, yeah, my friends were getting really tired of it. Like, <laughs> you need to learn a new song. And then it was easy. And then I just learned Rihanna's song the other day, Stay. And now I'm... You know, I'm going to learn like one of the Robin Thicke songs I'm going to learn tonight, which is cool. That's great. And you're sitting here like super relaxed. You're also sitting here as a three-time world champion. Has that felt different to you from being a, a world champion and then a double world champion? Does a three-time feel different? People look at you differently. People, you know, when they say your name, it's, it has a different ring to it when people say it. But otherwise, nothing changes, really. Um, you know, you still, you know, the world can keep moving, the team keep building new cars. You getting older you need to train harder and all these different things otherwise it doesn't really you know, it might get noticed a little bit more but otherwise no have you set your sights on becoming anything more than a four-time world champion you know do you have a target that you'd like to get to or do you just look at the present my sole goal right now is obviously to win this world, this world championship and for as long as i enjoy being here and being in the car Hopefully I'll continue. Pre-season testing was incredible from a Mercedes point of view. In a season where you know there are some changes to the sport, no rule changes really to the car. Mm. And how do these guys just keep raising the bar? That's what, honestly, that's what fascinates me. When I go into the factory and I see the car coming together, this new car, all these new bits are coming out of it from the different corners of the room. I'm just mesmerized just how this, the package all comes together. And these guys have had the success the last two years and you would imagine that they would kind of be more laid back, more chilled now because they've had the success, but they're not. They're, they've been pushing even more. I feel very, very fortunate, very blessed and very happy. And I don't know why, this fly's not getting you, but it's getting me. It's always a pleasure to speak to you. Thanks so much. Pleasure. Thank you.